Anatomy and injury of the anterior ankle. Anatomy of the anterior compartment includes the tibia and the fibula. It also includes the tibialis anterior tendon, the extensor hollicis longus tendon, and the extensor digitorum longus tendons. Here you can see the anterior tibial artery and the deep perineal nerve. And finally, the superior and inferior extensor retinaculum. There are many structures present at the anterior aspect of the ankle. These structures are often susceptible to injury. Common injuries and conditions around the anterior ankle. The first condition is anterolateral impingement. Painful limitation of full range of ankle motion due to soft tissue or osseous pathology. Soft tissue thickening commonly seen in athletes with prior trauma that extends into the ankle joint. This type of impingement may also be bony. Tibial bone spur impinging on the talus can become a source of chronic ankle pain and limitation of ankle motion in athletes. An osseous or bony spur on the anterior lip of the tibia contacting the talus during dorsiflexion. The second condition is arthritis of the ankle joint, commonly the result of a prior injury or inflammation to the ankle joint. It can usually be diagnosed with an examination and x-ray. The third condition is osteochondritis desiccans of the talus, chip-type fracture that usually occurs with severe ankle sprains and causes pain, swelling, and stiffness of the ankle joint. X-rays, CT scan, or MRI are commonly used for diagnosis. The final condition is tibialis anterior tendonitis. This is an overuse condition common in runners, and it usually accompanies anterior shin splints. If this tendon is strained, pain and tenderness will be felt upon active dorsiflexion or when the tendon is touched. This arthritis in my ankle is really starting to bother me. Before it gets any worse, I better see what the doctor can do for me. Hello, doctor. My ankle's flaring up on me again from all this dancing I've been doing. Do you think you have time to see me today? Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.